Welcome to the dreaded disposals and removals tab. So every once in a while in your business, you're just gonna be wrong. The prices drop, you bought something that's not selling, and you either need to get rid of it, which is dispose it, or you can return it back to yourself. At the time of this video, and at least for the last year or two, the disposal fees, every once in a while, Amazon will give you a free period. So some of these are actually free to get removed, uh, removed or disposed. Um, usually it's 15 cents for disposal and it's 50 cents for returns. Now the nice part is Amazon's actually going to give you um, a report and we'll show you in the setup video. So go back earlier on this page or up the page a little bit to see the setup videos. It's a report you can simply uh, export, copy paste and dump into this spreadsheet. Now I'd always recommend going back and starting from scratch. So just go back as early as you can up through today's date and just copy the whole thing and then just paste it over everything in the sheet. That way you avoid double counting anything. If you are a little bit more organized and don't have to deal with that, you could come in here and look at the last time you have any data. In this case, it's March 3. That's the day Amazon's showing a little bit different format here. You could look at March 3 and then run your report again. But um, every once in a while, there's gonna be items that Amazon has shipped, so that's back to you. Sometimes there'll be some, some quantity that are canceled. Let's see if we can find an example of that. Maybe not. Um, but you do wanna go back probably and run this report from scratch every time and then just paste over your entire spreadsheet because just because you re requested it on January 1, sometimes it takes uh, several weeks for Amazon to get rid of it. So the nice part is Amazon gives us a SKU so we know which items were returned and we can then track this data back through uh, our overall units. We can track it back to our turn rates. We can look at our source dashboard, commission dashboards, and we can actually assign the costs, if there are any, back to the appropriate source. Um, and that's really helpful if you're selling on consignment or just to give you a complete picture of how your inventory shakes out over time. So uh, this works just like it does on the sales data and the listing data tab. Once you paste your data, um, and again, I would always recommend getting a brand new report and just replace everything on this sheet. So pay, you know, click on this cell H4, control V or right click and say paste whatever data you have paste it over, and then simply click on this update data. It's gonna run a macro and you're gonna be off and running. One other note is you need to make sure your date is, your data is in order from oldest to newest. That way the macro can actually do what's called first in first out inventory management. It uh, basically goes back and tries to tie everything back to the first item that you'd listed if you're disposing of it. That way you get a really complete picture. So if you sold an item, let's say you listed five of an item on January 1st, you sold four of them, and then you disposed one a month later or two months later, then you listed more items under a different or the same SKU, but at a different point in time, this is going to go back in order and actually uh, track all that properly for you. So if you get the report from Amazon, it should be in order from oldest to newest. So nothing shouldn't have to do anything. Otherwise, you can click on this arrow here. It'll pop up a screen. You can sort this by um, ascending, and that'll help make sure that everything is in the right uh, format for you. So that's it. Again, if you want to see how to set up this sheet initially or to pull that report from Amazon, go further up the page and look at the input tab or kind of the setup tab, and there'll be some videos there to help walk through you, walk through these steps.